Hello, uh, my name is Mariano. I'm a retired airline pilot and 65. So I'm well in the uh, high risk aspect of the population. And as well as everybody here around me, the average age is this one. And so we're all in the same boat and the community we live in, small town uh, near uh, the Lago Maggiore, you can see behind me, and the other side, that's uh, Lombardia, and uh, where the uh, worst heat part of Italy, where the uh, large, biggest number of death happened, unfortunately. We've been locked down, uh, obviously because of the proximity with Lombardia for uh, a month now, um, uh, actually a little bit more than a month. And that's not the plan uh, I had for my retirement, which was uh, sailing, I have an uh, ocean-going sailing boat, uh, which is three hours drive from here in, Lom in uh, Liguria, near uh, Tuscany. So the boat is there waiting for us uh, for all this to finish, so we can carry on with our plans. For the time being, uh, we have been, uh, we made a routine every day, which is, was never part of my life, a routine. So we wake up, have breakfast, uh, rest a little bit to the breakfast settle. Then we exercise as much as we can. Uh, we rest from the exercise and then we have our meals. Later on in the day we have uh, read, television series that we uh, we all the uh, ones we can uh, get our hands on and regarding the uh, government plans and the uh, uh, actions taken I think it's a little bit over the edge because we can have a vertical uh, segregation of people like people like us could stay at home the others had to work and produce because if they don't work don't produce they they have no money to eat and uh, need help from the government whereas the money coming from from us that we are uh, paying the taxes everybody so if we don't work don't pay taxes there is no money so it's a vicious circle and to make an example further down on this side in this view there is uh, Switzerland. Switzerland didn't exactly close uh, totally the borders. There's a lot of people that live in Italy work in Switzerland, uh, both Swiss nationals and vast majority Italians. They're still carry on working. And as the Swiss said, we don't want to disrupt our economy. And I don't think they have the same problem we have here uh, with the uh, illness and the, the virus. So, uh, that's one thing to consider. Regarding what's going to happen next after the uh, coronavirus uh, uh, disease finish, we, uh, we think the world won't be the same. Uh, everything will change, all this globalization will uh, disappear in part. Uh, for me, uh, it would be very nice if it disappeared uh, for good because uh, we have then better climates, better uh, environment. Everybody start working around because the works don't go away. They work, stay around our communities. And we start consuming whatever we produce and we have in uh, our land. Regarding uh, what to do, uh, follow uh, strict directives of your government, uh, that's the best way, not to invent or read Facebook or whatever uh, social media tells you to do. Follow the government. Be safe.